Hello, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news the Kiwi dollar has fallen somewhat against the US currency. In New York, equities closed higher at the end of trading last week, pushed ahead by positive corporate earnings reports. Gold fell and is now at $1,289 an ounce. US Treasury benchmark 10-year bond yields closed at 2.69% and the oil prices range trading. Also out over the long weekend was news that Japan's trade deficit quadrupled in March compared with the same month a year ago, as export growth slowed and energy imports continued to rise. In Australia, the chief ANZ economist there said meaningful cuts to middle class welfare and essential services in their upcoming federal budget would crimp cons- consumer spending, hold back improving business conditions and stymie an economic recovery. They are hooked on middle class welfare, just like many other developed countries. This week, the big local event is the RBNZ OCR review on Thursday. Another quarter percent hike is expected, and that will no doubt be followed by floating mortgage rate hikes. Whether we'll see term deposit rises as well is more debatable, as banks are flush with cash at present and don't really need to raise their offers. ANZ did the right thing last time, raising all TD rates, but only a few other banks followed, and then selectively. I doubt ANZ will lead that way again, although they may, be, they may be the first to raise their mortgage rates. Tomorrow we get another update of the migrant arrivals, and they're likely to keep up the trend. We start today with the New Zealand dollar lower, just under 85.7 US cents, 92.2 Aussie cents, and the TWI is now at 79.7. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.